Welcome, space explorers, to Molly's Cosmic Playdate, Adventures with Pluto and Friends. Today we're joining Molly, our brave little astronaut, as she sets off on a cosmic journey with her friend Pluto. Hi, space buddy. I'm Molly, and I'm so excited to explore the planets with my pal Pluto. Are you ready for takeoff? Hello, Molly. It's me, Pluto. Today, I'm going to show you all the planets. Hello, Pluto. Are you a planet? That's quite a story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? Yes, Pluto. Meet Mercury, the smallest planet. To the Sun, it's also the closest. Mercury's entire day takes Earth 176 days to clear and takes 88 Earth days to have a year. I have a question to raise. Shouldn't years take longer than days? Well, that's not always the case. Planets move in two ways. First on its own axis like a dancer on a pirouette. Around the sun on a path called the orbit. I turn slowly on my axis so my days are longer. In orbit, I'm quick, so a year takes shorter. Next is Venus, named for the Roman goddess of love. Of all the planets, it rises above. Venus turns the other way while all other planets spin its axis counterclockwise, unlike the rest of the flock. This makes the planet upside down. Planet number three is our very own. It's Earth, the one we call home. 70% of its surface is water. Mars, the fourth planet, also fondly called red. It has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are not just neighbors by the nearest star, but also compact balls of rocks and metals. They are planets called rocky or terrestrial. Where are we off to next, Pluto? To the bigger planets we go. The one with rings and another with a big spot? That's correct, my little astronaut. Watch out for the rocky objects floating. They're ancient debris when the planets are forming. We're in the asteroid belt, you see. Meet Jupiter. Hydrogen and helium makes up the atmosphere. A day is just 10 hours here, but year is 11.8 in Earth years. My neighbor and I to the naked eye are both visible from Earth's sky. I have four sets of rings that are wispy. I have seven wider rings, all bright and icy, first seen by Galileo Galilei. Prettiest of all planets. That's me. 82 moons keep me company. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Ah, yes, because we're now near the coldest planet out here. My name is Uranus and I'm blue-green caused by sunlight and methane. Like my neighbors, I have rings, dark ones and bright ones, a total of 13. Uranus, are you okay? Why are you moving sideways? I move almost 90 degrees on my side. This is how I rotate and I'm all right. We've come so far! Are we approaching another star? I'm afraid not, my friend. But hey, here's our... Final planet! Here is Neptune, and it has 14 moons! I'm a bit rocky and mostly blue and icy. My six rings are very hard to see. That's because I'm the farthest planet. I'm away from the sun by 30 astronomical units. Say, Pluto, aren't you farther away? 39 astronomical units, they say? A quick recap, friends. I'm Mercury. I'm the smallest planet and closest to the sun. I'm Venus. I'm the hottest planet in the solar system. Ouch. I'm Earth. You call me home. I'm also the only planet with liquid. I'm Mars. I'm really dusty and cold with a thin atmosphere. I'm Jupiter. I'm twice the size of other planets, so they call me giant. I'm Saturn. I'm surrounded by a series of icy rings. I'm Uranus. I rotate on a tilt so I look like I'm sideways. I'm Neptune. I'm the smallest gas giant and farthest from the sun. Now let's check the order of distance from the sun. 